welcome back. So, this vlog is going to be, as you can see by the title, a weekly vlog. I haven't really got that much plans, but baby's just having a nap downstairs. So, I've just finished my makeup. And this is actually the first time where I've did no eyebrows. I've only just left, like, the tint on. And I've, like, ran through some eyebrow gel, honey. So, let me know what you think, or do I look like... A potato on the camera it looks a bit like lighter than in person i'm just used to it. like i've always had me eyebrows like kind of the same color as my hair like even like through high school and i mean let's not talk about the high school brows jesus christ <laughs> they was <sighs> something else but i actually need to go to the shops because we need nappies, wipes, food. I want to. I don't think we've got it. don't think I'll ever get it today. But definitely in the week I'm going to get some more of this. It's the Nala Baby um, brand basically. And we got given it. But what happened was is we, we, used it on the, we used it on Georgie for a bath time. But uh, like what? A week later... He developed eczema, like really bad eczema. He still suffers with it now. He's on a feral as well. Now we haven't got anything back. So it's kind of just trial and error and see what, what's like working for him. So we've tried like two other creams. Actually no, we've tried like five other creams to be fair. We got given a kit of like the same brand but different types of cream. for di It targets different areas. And we thought one worked. But it turns out it didn't. So then we moved on to a different one because we actually we ran out of it. So then we moved on to I went to shop because it was a weekend because you couldn't go to a uh, farm chemist. Um, so I went to shop and I picked it up and it was the oh, what's it called Oilatum um, Junior Cream. I only got it from Boots. I heard we've got the bath ointment. That's what he got given. This is why I don't really understand. He got given by the doctor the bath ointment. Oilatum bath bath thing that he put in and but then a different cream so i thought well it's the same he uses it for his bath so maybe you can use it for the cream it worked for a little while but he's still having these big massive flare-ups and like the cream's not really helping when he's having the flare-ups so i thought do you know what let's just try this like it was in me in my towel cupboard wherever it is for the baby um <laughs> so i thought let's just try this last night so we tried it last night anyway in his bath and he's woke up this morning and he's literally his kiss skin was red raw I try and insert like pictures of it. it. It was like awful. After this, it's calmed down. He still like because he scratches himself. He still got like, scabs on his on his like thing and on his arms. It's it is awful. It's horrible to see. As soon as he's naked, like getting changed, he's like this all over his body. It's like, and you know how big, you know how sharp baby's nails are. So this is the cream that we was using. It was the oilatum one. And we ended up getting it on prescription for him. In this little package, we got it for we got it from a family member. It comes with free thing. This is the bubble bath which he had in his bath last night, and I actually read the instructions because last time I just poured it in my hand. So we had it in this bath and we pour it like says to like drip it as the running water's going so we put that in it and made loads of bubbles and do you know why it was so nice to see all the bubbles because the oil eating bath oil it just looks like milk he put milk and water like that's what it looks like it doesn't really look like a bath so it was, he, he loved it to be honest he hasn't seen it like so he hasn't seen bubbles which is awful but he hasn't seen bubbles so he loved it and then it comes with the body wash and shampoo yeah it comes with this one and then it comes with the bubble bath and it comes with the nighttime oil which he has on after his bath and this is coconut oil apricot and lavender that's got in here so it's like it just smells of like coconuts to me this isn't sponsored by the way i wish it was but if anyone else has tried um and else from the brand because we're looking into get, getting the bait like the lotion like the cream for them throughout the day um, or anything else really i don't really know what else they've got but i'm gonna have a little look in boots because i don't know if you sell it in there but yeah so far so good i was just, i completely forgot i was sitting there on my bed looking through the frosted den and i was like oh my god i literally came up here to tell you about 
Mebel. <laughs> I'm here waiting. <laughs> Fuck, it's exciting to do for the box. But honestly, I haven't read a book since like year six. No, no, year six. Year 11, I haven't read a book since year 11. Like, but actually, no. I haven't actually read the book since year 7 on, like, me own. Like, I'm crying. Um, no, but I haven't actually read a book on me own, like, willingly. <laughs> you know, not, not part of, like, school and bloody GCSE, GCSE exams. But, yeah, like, the only book I've actually read on me own is Fault in Our Stars. <laughs> and I'm glad of it. <laughs> I got a book. I've also got another, the other viral book that I've seen on TikTok. That's the only reason I fucking bought it. Yeah, so if you see me mascara fucking running, yeah, you don't. <laughs> Called Happy Place by Emily Henry. And it was literally all over TikTok. So I got it. Because I wanted to get back into it. That was me New Year's goal. Seen on me, me, when was it? I can't remember. It was a video ago. And, um, yeah, so I've actually read. I'm quite proud of myself. It's like, oh my god, Ellie, you can actually read. But I've actually read quite a lot of pages, you know? Oh, okay. Action on page 319. I'm on, so I've read all that. I'm a bloody bookworm, aren't I? Long in a fucking library. But, yeah, I always. Oh my god. I'm crying. I don't know why I'm crying. God. Anyway, views on this book. I will give it. So far, I will give it a seven or an eight out of ten. It's a really good book, but if you're already yours now, that it kind of like goes back in time. Like from her point of view, it goes back in time. So like you'll be reading a chapter. And you'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, from present, it says, like, present day. Um, you'll be reading the chapter. And then, it, obviously, the book's called Happy Place. So, it goes, like, one chapter's, like, present day. Then, like, a couple of more chapters later, it's, like, ha my happy place. So, she goes back to the thing. Yeah, that, that's the only annoying thing. Because I'm, like, me, I want to keep reading and reading and reading. And then I'm, like, oh, I've just got to go back. So, like, I'm a very forgetful person. So, I forget what I've just read. <laughs> So I like to read and read and read and then when it gets like click I'm gonna cut off and it goes into the next chapter but it's like a back it's like way back when so they tell you like the storyline of things and like the relationship between the characters. But yeah, it's really do you know what? I wasn't expecting it to be. What's the pff, romantic like detail of romance if you get what I mean. I wasn't expecting it to be like that. Fucking loving it though. It's giving me like not Fifty Shades vibes, but like maybe 365 days vibes sometimes. Especially towards the end. The start wasn't really like that as much, but definitely towards the end it was like that. So if you haven't gone and read it and you're into books, go and read it. I'm just proud that I've, that I've, that I've read the book. So, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, the detail to the range. And we're just looking at all the mirrors. And then these are actually so nice. Don't we think I'll get that on? Hi! Are you sure it's happy to your heart? Trying my best to vlog in public, but I'm a bit scared. I also love the range though. It's actually so nice. But you always leave with stuff that you don't really need, do ya? But anyways, this is the first time he's been out in his car season his pram, by the way. Thought it would be easier because Demi's driving is about today. I found these. I'll speak about these today. I might get this one. This must fit. Vanilla body lotion, but then there's the butter. Mm, what's that? 99%. Hi guys, we've literally just came in. It started raining, didn't it, Baba? You showing off your turtle? <laughs> <laughs> That's a new thing now. Anyway, yeah, we had a lovely day. We went to Mackey's. We went to Boots. I picked up actually um one of the Nala's body lotions and it's vegan free. So I'll show you that one later. Look, look. 
Anyway, I'm gonna get him out today because he's been in it for a while. Um, and then I've gonna show you my shopping haul. I didn't actually film an Aldi just because there was quite a lot of people. It was very, very quiet, so I didn't do that. Okay. Oh, right. Oh, right. He's doing up. So I'll just put him to bed and then I'll show you what I got in Aldi. You would have seen me in boots. Now we winning, we winning. Plan on going to boots. We just ended up in there. I should do and I went to the baby product section and I found the nailers is it nailers nailers I think it's nailers nailers um baby baby lotion anyway baby lotion and this is the fragrance free one I did initially pick up the vanilla one which smelled amazing but I thought his skin's so sensitive and this is going to be day-to-day -day use so I got the body lotion one instead with fragrance three. Just literally smells of like just not just cream. That's, that's, that's the only smell I can. Maybe like a uh, do you like E45? Can't smell like that. Um, also, I don't know if you know, but I've seen these and I completely forgot the name of the people. I don't know why I've got them, but I forgot the name of the people who, who made them. You'll know though, I'm sure. I've seen them all over the place. They've got a podcast. I think they were on Only Way Essex. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I um, ended up picking up. I've seen these in the range and I was like, oh, I need to get them. So, anyways, I got them and I tried them. Me and Demi tried them. Demi wasn't that keen. She said that they taste a bit like Percy Pigs. And <laughs> she went, she went, sorry, Demi, but she went, look. She went, look, it's even got a pig on it. Watch if you can see it. You can't even see it, but it's basically a cat, it's not a pig. <laughs> but she's just seen it as a pig. Candy kittens and I don't even know. Eat on this. Anyway, the vegan. They taste amazing. And they've got like they do I mean the flavour that we got does kinda of taste like pasty pigs, but it's got like a little I don't know, like fizzy twang to it. If that makes sense, it's like the first initial bite on it. It's like busy, but I really like them, so yeah. Glad I picked them ones up and I'm actually glad they're nice and I just didn't waste the money on them. But boring food shops, you know, a milk. <laughs> the boring stuff, a milk. Some of these, these are the best chicken burgers going. I love them. Um, I got two of them. I got some crumpets because the baby loves crumpets. I got some of these as well for the baby. It's like a apple biscoff biscuit thing, which you really like. So you can just add it for like a snack or if you're out and about and stuff. Woman's things. <laughs> so I got the ba a baby a meal from this is from the Aldi, and um, this is the Mamma Mia thing. It's vegetable beef hot pot with chunks. Anyway, it's twelve plus, but I've been giving him twelve plus foods because he has finger foods. But it doesn't really fill him up because most of it is just kind of like messing with the texture or he always drops it. So he's not eating the whole thing like we would eat a meal. So I like to give him finger foods and like uh, spoon fed as well. Just so he, that's the only way he can now sleep through the night. He needs like a full, full belly. belly just some pepper things. He actually likes peppers, the baby, which is really weird. But this is like not the best like them. But anyway, he loves peppers. So we always get some hummus. So we have peppers or cucumber or carrots or what else does he have? Crackers. We got some crackers that like fake bits crackers. Um, and then we got some frozen food really just like chicken balls. Chips, um, some cheese. I like to have um, cheese. That's a mint as well. I like to have some cheesy pasta. So like, that's why I get three cheese. I know people are like, oh my god, that's so lazy. Like just buying normal block of cheese. But I don't know. I just I just like going. I just don't. Georgie loves the cheesy pasta as well. Sausage rolls. Love a sausage roll and a garlic. Oh, what is it called? Pan chocolate. <laughs> I don't even know it. Pan chocolate. Pan chocolate. Pan chocolate. 
Jojo I can tell. I got some eggs, some bread, which is like fake Waterton's because <laughs> who can afford food down the face? Like, not me, not me. <laughs> and so like, especially veg. Like, I swear bananas are like three quid now also. I'm like, it's just ridiculous. That's all we got for the weekly shop, so. Now I'm chill because it's been a long day. But we did have a really good day today. And Georgie really enjoyed it too. He's literally obsessed with them. I don't know why. I think it's the, she wears glasses and I think it's the glasses. <laughs> because she ju he just always is constantly trying to get them off her. <laughs> I don't understand. He loves her, bless her. Which is good because she's my bestie so we can be her best too. My battery is literally about to die. Oh, I don't think I'm going to make up today, so. I can't be asking going downstairs to the bathroom, so. We're just going to wet this one. I'm using the Giorgio Armani Illuminous Silk Foundation in the shade 1.5, I think. But my camera actually won't die, so. To be honest, he doesn't, he doesn't mind the hair dryer, but when the hoover's on, he screams. <laughs> I don't understand why. Oh, also, we tried that cream that we got in Boots, the Nala's Baby Baby Lotion Fragrance Free. I'm not even joking, I just insert a picture here. He had a massive allergic reaction, Josh put it on his face, and he had a mat, like he was like, oh my god, Elliot Burns. So I'm a bit confused. How can, like, it's supposed to be 99% natural, so how is it burning, like, do you know what I mean? The only ingredient we seen that was different from the other ones that we had been using was uh, sweet, so like sweet almond. But Josh isn't allergic to almond, so I don't know how it flared up on his skin as well, but honestly, you should have seen the faces I was showing pictures. He was like, oh my god, should we take him to the hospital? It was awful. I'm just gonna die, I'm gonna turn this off, I'm gonna finish my makeup, get ready, and then I'll get back to you when he's awake. This is the makeup for today. Baby's just woke up, so shall we go and see him? Georgie! Georgie! I see! I don't give money! <laughs> I'm gonna get him dressed and then 
Um, he's going to his nan's to have a little nanny time, so then I'll probably get back to you after that. But just, <laughs> are you? <laughs> are you? Hi guys. The rabbits, and he's just had a corn chocolate. And look at the seat. <laughs> what is that nice? Mmm. Mm. And we're just chilling with the rabbits. Aren't we? Look, this one's Bella. This one is Wilson. My other two are outside, but they are hopefully all getting bonded by the end of this month, and they will all live outside in our converted shed. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't get them like but he loves shakes on them. But he's back from his nans and I have finished work. Woo woo! It's only half a day today. That's why you see me on the train. I just thought I'd show you yeah, what I got in the um excuse the mess. <laughs> we don't tidy till Georgie's in bed. <laughs> um, yeah, I just thought I'd show you what I got from the charity shop today, I found a good find, didn't I, love? Yeah. Yeah, I found a really good find, so I went in. You just have a little news. And I got this. One minute, let me show it. And I got this. Big tub, and it's got like, shape, it's like a shape sorter. Um, that, you, that just comes off, and it's just a lid. But it's like a shape sorter, and it's got ugh, all um, um, wooden blocks in for him to play with and guess how much it was only two pounds yeah. Um, yeah do you want it back he likes it here you go look at the state of him now like there's literally chocolate everywhere <laughs> honestly this kid hey yeah see ya are you gonna show them look say look i got a tool kit and it goes what does it do and it even goes like that, look. Sometimes I'm like, the amount, like, I just think it's absolutely ridiculous how expensive kids' toys are. Like, why are they so expensive? I'm sorry, no. If I was to buy that, yeah. If I was to buy that in, like, a shop, like, August or something, something on the that. Yeah. It'll be like 15, 20 quid. Do you know what I mean, Georgie? Yeah? Are you playing on your toy? Oh, wow! Shake, shake. Shake it. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Yay! Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> Yeah, well done. Shake, shake. So that's it really for today. Um, you'll be having his dinner. And then, be getting put to bed. And I will be watching Emily in Paris. Again, I've watched it like three times. I can't wait for the next season to come out. So it's bedtime for little man. And he's absolutely exhausted. Um, I've got the salt lamp on. I'll be having one for bedtime, but he's just having his bottle and then he'll go in his cart. But I was just thinking then, like, I haven't done an um, updated, like, bedtime routine, so oh. maybe, maybe I can do one of them, but yeah, this is what he does when he's tired. He just, like, rubs his whole face and then, like, itches the back of his ears for some weird reason. But, bless him. And then I've got to go downstairs. Oh. He's finished. Hi guys, it's currently Saturday and what the hell is with this? I've got makeup on me. What the hell is with that? Seriously, postpartum bloody hair breakage and hair loss is ridiculous. <laughs> I've just dried my hair and baby sleeping. That's the only time I can get ready. <laughs> Baby sleeping and I'm gonna go and straighten my hair now. But this is like I've done 
no eyebrows or we and i don't know i'm still like seeing if i like it or not but what do you think i mean they do definitely look a bit more natural now i'm just used to my big eyebrows i'm gonna go get dressed i'm looking a bit white i need to put some instant like um it's what is it it's the dove the dove tanning lotion thing I just like to put it on, just give me an extra little bit of a bronze while I'm out. But it's like 13 degrees today, so um, <laughs> colours came out, I still need to iron it. Elsa's bedroom got this messy once they've um, decided what to wear because <laughs> I don't know why it gets this messy. Like seriously, is that normal? I don't think so. Anyway, I'm vlogging on my phone at the minute just because my camera's downstairs and I can't be bothered going downstairs and then all the way up and then all the way back down because I'd probably wake the baby up. I went out with Hadja today and she's going to have a little catch up. I haven't seen her in ages and she hasn't seen Georgie in ages so I think we're going for a meal maybe and just just chilling, just a chill day in town. But mm, I think I've changed my outfit just because like if I go, I look like an oaf if I do that. So I'm just going to like put it up a little bit but still have it like long on the back. I've still got my little mum tum, but oh well. Yeah, I'm gonna tuck that in, I think. Baby's just heard him, I think he's awake now. So I'm gonna go see him and pack the bags and get everything ready. But how would you like the outfit? Also, <laughs> my boobs a mess. We'll be going out in a bit later, but if we don't get ready now, we're getting ready. So I need to get ready now. Straighten me hair now and me. Me hair is still the same. Can you say? Me is still the same, so. Love that. But yeah, it's given like Valentine's Day vibes, but. At least I don't have to wear a. Uh... Oh, it's Royal Mail. At least I don't have to wear a coat with this because it is quite warm and I'm actually getting a bit hot now. Right, I'm back on my camera now and Georgie's just woke up and he's literally just having. Oh, just having a little play, aren't you, Baba? Yeah, that's the tip. Let's put you there. Okay, so what I like to do, also the prams in the background, because he sleeps in his pram in the day, it's just easier, and he absolutely loves his pram. Every time he's in it, he falls asleep. So I ordered this, and inside, I mean, you're gonna think that it's like proper exciting, but like to the mums, it's gonna be exciting, isn't it, Baba? is this big box of milk <laughs> so you get six six for 58 pounds yeah 58 pounds on amazon and i think that's just a bargain because if you think about yeah <laughs> by the way they're, they're the 800 grams ones as well but think about it you get you're buying it's not like it's not a dramatic dramatic like amount of saving but like it's more convenient because it comes to your door you can get next day delivery i've got prime so it just it's free for me and they say it's free but you do have to pay for prime girl man so you get six of these bad boys so then we don't have to worry about oh my god run low on milk and you have to go to shop and get milk well now i do because they're stocked up. The offer isn't on, so you can't you just have to like look up, look out for it really. But yeah, fifty eight pounds for six when one in the shop. If you go to your corner shop, it'll probably be about twelve pounds. If you go to Tesco, it's eleven pounds something just for one. So I'm getting six for like let's pretend to do math. Um, five pound, three pound, mm, three five pound. Oh. <laughs> Which, you, pff, at least you don't have to go to the shop. And it's got to be in your cupboard and stored. And Baba, Baba's going to be happy. Aren't you, Baba? You're going to be happy? <laughs> so, it's all good. Do you like my little bunny as well? It's Nick used type of bargain. It was only like £7. Pounds. But yeah, little bunny. For now, it's in here. But once yeah but once the rabbits go out it's gonna go outside on the shed because we're gonna do the shed up again but it's a lovely day today i can't wait to go out 
I'm gonna wear no coat. I might put one under the pram just in case, in case it rains or something, because I don't have an umbrella. Yeah, I should get an umbrella. Georgie says I should get an umbrella. I'm gonna try my hardest to film on the camera in public, but it's like this big, like, it's quite bulky, do you know what I mean? It's not that bulky, really. I'm just being like, I'm just scared. I feel like, why, why, why I've got a camera, like, I'm, I'm just not really using it to the full extent. Like, it's literally, this camera is the G7X Mark II, I think it is, Canon one. Um, and I'm just not using it to its full potential. Like, it's literally supposed to be used for vlogging. <laughs> it's just scary, and I don't understand. I have anxiety, okay? Little man's gonna play for a bit, because we're not going out for a little while longer. And then I'm going to get him dressed and then we're going to go and we're going to go get the train and we're going to go to town. Whoop, whoop. So well to that. I feel like this vlog, yeah, this weekly vlog's been a bit like, ooh, at least changing. But I've got new eyebrows. I've got just lip liner and lip gloss on my lips. <laughs> and I'm kind of loving it, the natural look. Aye. Yeah. Just having some toast now, kind of being the toast a little bit. But, um, you're loving it, aren't you? Yeah, it's fine. Anyway, just making some scrambled egg. I want to get a plate for him. He's got bowls, like he has these bowls. These sort of bowls. But, um, I want to get like plates for him. I've got like, and bowls, I've got like sticky cushion to the tray. So that he can't throw the plate because he constantly throws his bowls. Yeah. Mummy's making it. Go cook for a little bit more. Is that nice? Give it. Give it. <laughs> I look back on vlogs and I'm like, all I can do is I've done when I've had him as a newborn. And I'm like, oh my god. We had so much time, time when he was newborn. Like I used to, he used to nap for like four hours straight. And I'm like, please. I just can't get that much done anymore. At all. Let me try though. Eat that nice. I love this Noxus cushion. That would look so nice on my old couch. Tank, your fish tank. Look, she's kind of over in her room. Look, it's like a football. Oh, it's my last cash. Horrible. No, that's not that bad. You should know if you had like a cool house, you know, with like all different colours. Like that colour. Yeah, it's like greeny, like Is that the same emotional support, Teddy? <laughs> yeah, he loves it, you know. It's that and a dummy. I'm going to be doing my house, Roger. I love yours. Did you have the seven at home? No, I'm still looking for one. Is it so expensive? Oh, these are cute. I mean, what would you put in them like? I don't really know. Mum, see this. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, I love that. Oh, I wish George oh. was old enough to play with these stuff. You can learn that. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's like back in the day, that, isn't it? This is that cute down. Hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. You're in your pot in your kitchen table. <laughs> Dan, they will leave it. Oh. <gasps> He's like, um, what are you doing? 
He's not a fan of that dad, so I keep going. Oh, look at him cup. I need to get him a cup. This is the clearance. This is nice. I do like that. What are they? Hey, I'm supposed to put that way, I'm supposed to put that. <laughs> Brett, oh my god, the bedtime story. Oh, that's fake. I was gonna say. Put your sleep down, wouldn't it? Will you fall down there? Right, we're in Primark. Um, changing rooms. If there was a Kelly e lab shop in the store, could you please make your way to the third floor of hills? Not me, not me. We're in Primark. I'm on just um, in the changing rooms. I've been wanting a uh, blazer for ages, but don't you think they're too expensive? So anyway, I've gone with this one. This is like £22. The one I think I'm going to get. I got like a bigger one for like a bit more roomy, mum tums, mum tumming, but what can you do? I've just tried on jeans. He wasn't here. Literally wasn't here. Had just on baby duties. Judy, what are you doing? I see. Ah. I see. Anyway, right, I think I'm just gonna get this because the jeans were horrible, but they are nice. The nice colours are just jeans right now just on for me so we'll have to stick with the leggings and the tracky bottoms hi guys so we're back and georgie is just going off now i've just put him down so we just watch him on the camera but um i'm about to edit the vlog on my ipad probably upload it on sunday but that's the end of the vlog but I hope you enjoyed it, something different I haven't did before and tried to vlog as much as I could outside of this house because I know I get bored of this house so you'll probably fucking get bored of this house. So anyway, see you in the next one.